Hello, writing fellows, or fellow writers, whichever you prefer. As you know, we're in the process of changing any banner that says guest lecture on any of our materials to one that says writing workshop. And so going through the Write 999 conferences today here at home, uh, I need to ask your help on some of them. Here's what happens. Whenever you guys upload your own materials, you take some generic materials, you adapt them, you upload and create your own conferences. As you can see, those conferences have your name on them. Here's one that says Alicia Rasley, who does a great job of adapting materials for each workshop that she teaches. That's fantastic. But what it means in terms of changing out these banners is that only Alicia can edit that thread. So I can't edit it. I can edit all of the ones I've posted, especially all the generic ones. But any conference thread that you've created that has your name beside it, I need you to go in there and very quickly, it's a two-step process, very quickly swap out any URL for a guest lecture banner and replace it with a URL for a writing workshop banner. And this pertains only to the materials that you have created and posted in 999. And this video here is going to give you a very quick, very easy process of how to open up one of your threads that has the old banner in it and slip in the uh, URL for the new banner. Now, if a banner says Effective Writing Center, you're fine. If it says APA Citations, you're fine. If it says Annotated Bibliography, you're fine. Anything but Guest Lecture. That's what you're looking for. If you would, swap it out with Writing Workshop following this process right here. The first method is when you're changing something only in Design View. Open up the thread double left click to get the full screen view. Click on edit, then select the guest lecture banner and simply hit the delete button. And now all you do is click on the insert image button, image properties dialog box will come up, grab one of the new URLs that I sent to you via email and copy and paste it into the URL field view. Once that's pasted in, You'll want to put in a little alternative text for non-sighted users. And then, when you click OK, you'll see the new banner pop right in. If simply deleting the banner and replacing it in Design View with a few simple clicks works for you fantastic. However, there may be times when you will need to access the HTML code and manually delete the URL by backspacing and deleting that way. Let's take a look at a thread that I've created and therefore I have the edit rights to the literature review. Again, it's best to double click on that thread so that you get the large view, then click on edit, then go down and click on code. And when the code comes up, locate the URL that you wish to delete. It will be http polaris umuc.edu percentage taylor or something like that. It will be the, the first image URL. After you have deleted it and you have nothing left in between those two quote marks, go and get your new banner URL. Here I'm going to grab the writing workshop banner. I grab that URL, I activate my cursor in between the two quote marks, and then I paste in the new URL. With that pasted in, I click on Submit, allow the form to process, and then check, and there is the new banner that has replaced Guest Lecture. Do the same thing for HTML, except you won't get a design view in HTML. You click on Edit, you locate the uh, URL and delete it. And once that is deleted, you paste in between the two quote marks the banner URL that you wish to replace guest lecture with. So we'll paste that in. This time when we hit submit, we're not going to get a view because we are in the HTML mode. 
but now anyone can use that HTML to modify and use that that thread and that's why the HTML is there. Let's go down to source integration and illustrate how to put in an effective writing center banner. Again double left click to get the large view then click on edit and then go down the bottom and click on code locate the URL and slowly delete it so that there's nothing left in between the two quote marks. Let's go and get our EWC banner and I will be emailing these to you. Copy it, go back to your code page and activate your cursor in between the two quote marks. Paste in the URL and click submit. And now we should be seeing the effective writing center banner and that's the other acceptable banner that you can use. HTML same thing open up HTML click on edit locate the URL and delete the URL so that there's nothing left between the two quote marks activate your cursor put in the new URL and click submit And of course because this is HTML view you won't be seeing anything but the code.